I love doing Sonic theories. Filling the missing gaps in the game's lore, or asking the hard-hitting questions of the character's mental state or the source of the powers. But there are some that, even when given clear and plausible conclusions, keep asking and making theories over and over. So here they are, the top 7 Sonic theories. Ever since the arguably greatest 3D Sonic game, Sonic Adventure 2 blew us away with its deep narrative and dual game design of Hero and Dark, it left us asking one question. Well, several, because jeez, some of it doesn't make sense. But the one that persisted for years after is, what the hell happened to the moon? After Sonic Adventure 2, the moon has been seen being whole again in Sonic Unleashed and Colors. Takeshi Yuzuka explained that the moon just turned around. But how? When? Why? Ever since Sonic Adventure, the idea of Sonic living in our world seemed a little far-fetched. Sure, we could accept that a handful of anthropomorphic creatures run around and save us from a mad scientist on a weekly basis. But then Sonic X came along and introduced the concept of another world. Is this even possible? I mean, we had time travel for better or worse, but this brings up inconsistencies like the Space Colony Arc event, Eggman's real origin and Gaia. Are these events linked to our world or their world? How many times did the two worlds collide? Some things can't be right in the minds and bodies of our favourite characters. Take Sonic for example. Quick, impulsive, reckless, always on the move, ready for the next big thrill. He could be suffering from ADHD. And Amy's obsession over Sonic's non-love for her? A clear case of erotomania. Finally, Eggman's shape and size suggest that he's suffering from cushion syndrome. Large body, rounded face and thin limbs suggest so. There might be some other conditions that we don't know about, but we will find out in due time. The order of events in the Sonic canon is a confusing one. I mean, sure, Sonic Adventure 2 takes place after Adventure, and Heroes and Shadow take place after that, so it seems we have a timeline. Then again, Advance and Rush take place alongside that, and the Rider series is in the future, alternate timeline. Then again, there's Sonic 06 and Sonic Mania, which create alternate timelines. The whole thing's a mess. Trying to take every Sonic game and put them in some canonical order is just impossible. But the games themselves seem to think otherwise as they reference each other. Sonic Adventure 2, Hero, Shadow all take place within a few short months with the Space Colony arc still being set 50 years ago. All I can say for certain is that I'm sure Sega Sonic the Hedgehog is definitely the beginning of events and Forces is what we have right now at the end. Everything in between takes place across a span of, say, five years? I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the Sonic and Amy ship. I'm more of a Sonic and Blaze man myself. But the amount of speculations of whether these two will be together is jaw-dropping. When will they get married? Will they have kids? It's never-ending. There is some evidence as to why Sonic might return her feelings, but there is just as much, if not more, as to why he won't. Not to mention there are different universes such as Sonic Boom, where Sonic tends to have more of a respect for Amy than his legacy counterpart. And this just isn't limited to Sonic and Amy either, because there's Silver and Blaze, Shadow and Rouge, Tails and Cream, Tails and Cosmo, Amy and Silver, Sonic and Blaze, Shadow and Blaze, Knuckles and Rouge, Vector and Vanilla, Hell, even crack ships such as Sonic and Vanilla are Tails and Rouge. The community is awash with theory, speculations, and so-called evidence as to why any pairing could be possible. It is insane. So technically we can't use the word Mobius anymore, but for the sake of not calling it Sonic's World, trying to map it out is difficult. There are games such as Unleashed and Forces that show a world, but it doesn't show everything and even then, it's wrong. Where's South Island? Where's West Side Island? Is Station Square a city or is it just a square that has a train station? If so, is Westopolis the main city? Is the United Federation the equivalent to the United States of America? Are the various world locations and Unleashed a mirror of our own world or is it still Mobius? Is Future City literally the only city in the world that has hover cars? Do humans live in this world or is it full of anthropomorphic creatures? Where in a nutshell does this all take place? It's the one thing that Sonic fans never get tired of discussing, and it's who Silver's parents are. Or more specifically, his ancestors, since he does live 200 years in the future. Even though I and many other Sonic theorists have discussed this and come to a rather reasonable conclusion, it's still not enough. 
Is it Sonic and Amy? Is it Shadow and Amy? Having Silver play Sir Galahad, the son of Sir Lancelot, who is played by Shadow in Sonic and the Black Knight, really doesn't help this matter. I think Sega should have Silver come back in time to not save the future, but to find out who his ancestors are, and whether or not he's been friends with them this whole time. 